So first question, Mel's, uh, how's pre-season going and how are you finding things with COVID-19 at the moment? Um, I'll go, I'll go back to when, when we first started and, you know, there's all these new rules, these new regulations, uh, all these forms to fill out, uh, the testing procedures that saw there was, there's quite a bit of activity before we even got onto, onto the pitch and, and did any form of training. Um, but the lads have done really well with it. The lads have done really, really well. Rami has uh, ran a real tight ship. I mean, there's no one better, is there, really, to, to, to do a COVID testing. He's, he's quite militant with it. Um, so he, he's, he's been kind of leading that along with, with Matt, the, the physio, and they've been and, the, and his medical team. They've been doing that side of things. Um, and although it's been taking quite a while, the, the lads have been really patient with it um, and, and everyone's just cracked on with it, to be fair. Um, and we've, we've gradually got quicker with the process of testing uh, and getting the lads tested and then getting the lads in the gym and, and starting training. So, yeah, it's, it's been really good on that side of things. And then the actual training side of things has been excellent. The lads, honestly, have, have, have ripped in. They've done really, really well. I think there was I think there was buzzing to be back. I think they all wanted to be back. I mean, obviously gyms were closed and things like that. Um, so for me, it's it's been really easy because they've had the, the motivation to get back into it and, and to do a bit. And I thought at times I thought this is gonna this is gonna kind of dip, really. The motivation is yeah. gonna dip once the novelty of being back in the gym and being back training wears off, but it it hasn't. It hasn't, and the, the lads have made my job really, really easy. They've been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So we've done some tests and some retests, um, and the results are there for everyone to see. Uh, and camp, so pre-season camp's been really, really good, really good. There's, there's no complaints whatsoever from me. And how has Spirit's been within the general team and ahead of the season getting underway in a couple of months? The lads have been buzzing. I mean, like, like I mentioned, we've kind of tapped into the fact that you know, everyone's been locked away pretty much, haven't they? Um, so when everyone's come back into the team environment um, and, and the ruthless banter of rugby league has been flowing, everyone's been ab- absolutely buzzing. It's been really, really buzzing. Um, and he, even from, from the top down, I mean, when we was doing some real hard physical conditioning sessions, uh, some off-feet stuff, uh, Matt was joining in. So we've kind of got we've got our head coach joining in doing some some of the conditioning, um, you know we've got Rami doing doing some ways. Everyone's kind of been doing their own bit, and it's just created this really really good environment. Um, and, and long may it continue. To be honest, the lads the lads seem to be buzzing. Seem to be buzzing. I mean, that might all change. You never know. Once we've been back two or three months and we and we're playing games. But at the moment, like I said, everyone seems to be really enjoying themselves, uh, really putting the effort in, uh, and morale has been really, really good. And in terms of, obviously, that professionalism that's Matt's set since he's come in, have you kind of noticed the difference between the fitness levels of the players? Obviously, you were here when Carl was in charge. Mm. Have you noticed any difference, major difference Uh, in terms of fitness? I feel with... You know, there's 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 a totally different um, squad, in totally different mindset. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and call old personnel or the, the things we did back then. Things things are different. I mean, Matt's known for um, for his, his detail into the finer things. So, for example, you know, we've had the referees down. The referees have briefed the players on the new rules. Uh, we've been playing practice matches on, under the new rules. Um, and, and no stones left unturned. So, you know, Matt's really, really good with the detail. Um, he's kind of given me free reign and he's, he's let me um, do do what I what I think we should be doing in terms of um, the conditioning side of things. Um, so, you know, that that's really good. In terms of the fitness and strength levels, um, the lads are looking really well. I'm really pleased with, with where everyone's at. Um, and myself, Matt and Faz have had a, had a few meetings. Uh, I fed back to the players last week with some of the data we've got. Um, you know, and we're, we're all really pleased with where the lads are at, at physically. Even the lads are as well, you know, they're, they're commenting on how they're feeling compared yeah. to when started back. 
uh, and compared to where they've been at, at previous clubs in, in previous years. Um, so even them seeing themselves improve, you know, that, that's that's a really good thing to happen because that brings a lot of um, motivation on their behalf then when they see in the games. And obviously we've seen uh, players return and we've got through through Moi Moi coming in. What experience does he bring to the squad and what's he like at the, around the club at the moment in terms of bringing that knowledge and experience to the team? Fui is great. Fui is, is really great. Um, you know, I, I mean, I was speaking to some of the younger lads, so some of the lads from Hotwood all, uh, for them to train with the likes of Fui and, and Penk and, and Aini as well, and just to pass on some some knowledge of the game, to be honest, some real um, key golden nuggets of the game and, and pass it on and just be around those, those sort of players is, re- is really beneficial. Uh, again, to have those players on side in, in, for, for my role is really, really good for me. You know, Fu is ripping in. He, he really wants to do his bit, um, even to the point where myself and Matt are going up to Fu and saying, you know, you're done now. You know, I, we can't treat Fui the same as we're treating a, a young lad just coming through. Yeah, uh, It's just, you know, it's a, it's a totally different beast in terms of how many games played his age uh, and the same with Penk as well we can't treat Penk the, the same we're going to treat um, one of the younger lads so uh, all the lads are aware of that but having said that Fui still wants to rip in and, and that's really really good to see and that, set, that sets the standards for, for the other boys and going into the season what are the aims for the club all around heading into the season in terms of like the coaching staff's aims really um, I mean, you know, it's it's difficult to, to say at this point. Um, I know we're going to be competitive. In previous years, we've had a bit of a chat about um, being being the underdogs um, and having the underdog tag. I don't think we can have that. I think Matt's recruited really, really well. I think we're looking really, really good. Um, so I think that there might be uh, might be a bit of pressure on us to to perform, and I think that that's a good thing, um, because I think we've got the team, the squad, um, the coaching staff to do something really special, and that's the feeling I get from the players as well. Um, but you know, it's not it's not one on paper. We need to actually go out there uh, and do the talking on the pitch, um, and week on week just just reassess. But I think we'll be up there and I think we're going to be really, really competitive this season. And we've got that pre-season game against North Wales Crusaders. What do you think we'll be able to bring to the pitch on that one? Uh, that gives us a chance to see where the players are at in a, in a competitive environment. You can try and you can try and reenact all the, the different situations of the game, but players need games. You know, you can't get match fit without matches. And this is just going to show us where different players are at. It will give Matt an idea, Matt and Faz an idea of, you know, the players who are there or thereabouts. Uh, and it will also give Matt and Faz the, the idea of um, the way they're going to play, the structure, um, everything we've been implementing in pre-season. Is it actually going to work within the competitive environment? But again, I think we're going to, we're going to change now in terms of our our pre-season blocks. We're going to go into more game specific and working on quite a lot of game structure. And the friend is just going to give us a chance to um, have a go at that structure against um, against a good opposition. Yep. 